This is what it looks like as you dive to the surface of Saturn's moon Titan. This is the view from the Huygens probe. It fell through the atmosphere to the surface for a full 2 hours and 27 minutes on January 14th of 2005. Once on the surface, it operated for about an hour before it died. Titan is actually a super fascinating body. The atmosphere is about 95% nitrogen. The rest of Titan's atmosphere is mostly methane, about 5%, but there are also trace amounts of other carbon-rich compounds. What's really interesting is the nitrogen and methane in the upper atmosphere is actually broken apart both by UV from the sun and the radiation in the whole Saturnian system. So where is the methane coming from? Because it stands to reason that as that methane is broken apart, it shouldn't just be replenished, but it is. Scientists think that it's actually from volcanoes, volcanoes that are releasing chilled water instead of lava, and then that is getting into the atmosphere and replenishing the methane. Titan is also thought to have liquid oceans that sit somewhere between 35 and 50 miles below the frozen surface. Scientists think they are made of water, but mixed with salt and ammonia. But there's also rivers, lakes, and seas on Titan's surface, although those are liquid methane and ethane. The coolest thing about this moon, though, is that everything happening, all of these elements and the chemistry on that body, it is a habitable body. Just not by us. If there is life on Titan, and many scientists think that this is actually a really good place to be looking, it wouldn't look at all like us. But it doesn't have to look like us to be a super cool discovery.